Hey guys, it's Anna. Uh, my second order, or my second box from Jackson's arrived today. I think this is some uh, watercolor pigments that weren't included in the other package. So let's take a look at this. I love all their earth-friendly packaging. <laughs> Little folded up piece of paper. Ooh, yay. So look at this. All right, so this is, I think it's Marami Blue. I think that's how that's pronounced. Um, this is green gold and I love green gold so I'm excited to try their version of it. Uh, this one is um, Schmincke's Ocean Gray. This one is Rembrandt um, something rose. Oh, Dusk Pink. The English title is on this side. I was looking over here. <laughs> Dusk Pink. <clears throat> this is Rembrandt's Dusk Green. Oh, I think I need to put my glasses on. And this is Rembrandt Dusk Yellow. This one is um, Sennelier's um, Greenish Umber. And then I have three more little pans here from Roman Schmal. And they are... Uh, Misty Morning. I'm excited to have that one. Look at that. It's beautiful. It's like a smoky blue and then it granulates out to a little bit of a pink. I think I got two of those. Yes. Um, for one as a gift. And then um, Ocean Blue. So this is also from Roman Schmal and it's like a really beautiful turquoise color. Um, so lots of uh, blues I've ordered recently with the um, addition of the um, ones that I ordered that arrived yesterday. Um, this is the Green Earth I think I um, showed you in my previous haul. That's the color opened. This is what cobalt turquoise looks like when you put it in a pan. This is Daniel Smith. This is that um, Izaro Nordman Green. So that um, paint panned up really beautifully. This is um, Mirami Blue's Potter's Pink. This is a um, handmade paint, and I could really tell the difference when I panned this. This has a much, uh, I don't know if I'd say firmer, um, but a denser texture than, say, like the Nordman Green. You can see how much finer the pigments look to be milled. This actually had a little bit of uh, visible texture to it, so I thought that was interesting. But it panned up beautifully. This is what the Schmincke Volcano Violet looks like when it's panned. And this is the Volcano Brown from Schmincke. Beautiful. And I actually um, did some painting of these and I'll share those with you, or uh, color swatches of those, and I'll share those with you. And then I'm gonna go ahead and um, prepare these so that we can get um, a quick look at those colors as well. Um, so here's a just a quick little sample card. Um, so here's the uh, Roman Schmal Green Earth, this color right here on the right. And I actually have rare green earth from Daniel Smith, and you can see the color difference there in those two. Both of them are very beautiful colors. Then this one here is the um, Schmincke Deep Sea Green. It's one of their um, super granulating colors. Gorgeous, isn't it? And this is that Nordman Green from Izaro. You can see it as a um, color granulation as well. And then this is Cobalt um, Turquoise from Daniel Smith. Gorgeous. This one is Schmincke's Violet, or excuse me, Volcano Brown. So that one is beautiful with the little pink, bit of pink there in the browns. This is uh, Schmincke's Volcano Violet. I love that. Holy cow. Look at the purple up in there, how it separated out. And then this is the Miramu Blue, Mirami Blue uh, Potter's Pink. And I have a comparison to my Daniel Smith Potter's Pink, so you can see the difference. So this is um, Daniel Smith Potter's Pink, and this is the Marry Me Blue Potter's Pink. So see how much pinker it is? Um, Daniel Smith's version leans more brown. And then here again is the difference between the Roman Schmal Green Earth and the Daniel Smith Rare Green Earth. So see how much bluer this one looks? This is that um, A. Gallo olive green deep color. This is that handmade pigment from Italy, or handmade paint from Italy that I bought in the little tiny half pans. Look at the gorgeous color separation in that paint. Holy cow. 
And then this is the A. Gallo French Ochre Sahara that I purchased. Gorgeous color. And then just to give it a comparison to the Daniel Smith French Ochre, this is uh, it down here. So this is a much more yellow version of this uh, French Ochre Sahara. So gorgeous colors. I'm excited to have all of these in my collection now. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to um, go ahead and prepare these for swatching too. So stay tuned. All right, I'm going to first start with the Ocean Blue. This is a Roman Schmal color. I'm going to use the paint that's left over on the little wax paper here. be interesting to compare these to uh, the colors I swatched out yesterday for my previous um, box. Ooh. I'm just using a piece of B watercolor paper. Um, it's uh, not 100% cotton, but <clears throat> it has a nice texture on it. So I think the granulation and the colors that have it will um, show nicely. That's gorgeous. It's not funny. I wouldn't have expected that green to look like that turquoisey blue. <laughs> gorgeous, gorgeous. All right, um, I'm just going to take a look at these here. You can see the difference there. Ooh, exciting. I love new colors. I think colors, colors are so inspirational. Okay, let's um, now move on to the... Misty Morning from Roman Schmal. This is the pan that I bought two of. This paint is made up of two pigments, PG50 and PV19. So a green and a violet. Gorgeous, like a periwinkle. Gorgeous, gorgeous. <clears throat> Let's do ocean gray next. This is the Schmincke color, and the pigments are PB29, PG50, PBK6. So a turquoise, a green, and a black. Actually, a um, ultramarine um, green and black. And uh, ultramarine is a granulating color, and. Uh, Um, some people don't fill their pans all the way when they do their first pour, but I always do. I never have a problem with it. So, And sometimes if they dry down too far, I'll go back and add a second pour, but not generally. Oh my gosh, that's pretty. Pretty, pretty. <clears throat> uh, let's move on to... Here, let's compare these three. Gorgeous. You can see the pigment separating already. The pink's pulling out of that. Pretty. Um, let's do the green gold next. I'm excited for this one. This is the Marami Blue PY129. I'm excited for this color. Green gold, green golds actually can change from a cool color to a warm color. That's amazing, holy cow. <laughs> gorgeous. All right, let's move on to dusk. Uh, let's do dusk green next. This is the Rembrandt um, color. It's PBK 11 and PG 7. PBK 11 is a granulating color. 
so the colors will separate. And you can really see the green pull out of this as well. So that's dusk green. Uh, let's do dusk yellow next. This is um, Rembrandt's PBK 11 and PY 128. And more of a green instead of a yellow. I'm surprised. I thought it would be more of a, like a green gold. Oh, that's going to be beautiful. <clears throat> right, look at that. Wow. Okay. Um, let's do greenish umber next. This is the um, Sennelier. PB60, PBK, and PY83. Greenish umber. Oh my gosh. I should have put these two next to each other. Look at that. God, I love color. And then the last one is Dusk Pink. This is again the Rembrandt PR 122 and PBK 11. Ooh. This color is like eggplant. I love that color. Wow. <clears throat> and you look at that where they bled together. So let's take a look at some of these other ones here. See how the turquoise is falling from the pink? That's that misty morning from Roman Schmall. Not quite dry yet, of course. So they'll continue to change <clears throat> as they dry. Granulating colors, I like to let dry on their own instead of uh, speeding the drying process with the heat gun. Um, if you let the drying process occur naturally, the pigments have more time to um, fall apart and get more interesting um, as the paint dries. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So... <clears throat> Very different from the colors I swatched yesterday. Here's what that um, potter's pink looks like next to the dusk pink. Ooh, I'm excited. I'm excited. Yeah, very different. Ooh, these are gonna be fun to add to my palette. I'm excited. So I'm gonna let these dry, and if they come back and do anything um, a little bit more exciting than that one, than what we see here, I'll share them with you. But I doubt it. It's probably gonna look very similar to what we see here. Fun. Well, um, I hope you enjoyed. If you're interested in picking up any of these colors, I found them on Jackson's website, but you might find them on other websites as well. Um, I'm just not sure. I didn't actually look. So cool. Hope this has been fun. I know it's been fun for me. <laughs> Talk to you guys soon. Bye.